tutorial on how to place cars by Sam Smith. We're in standard tuning, there's no capo. We've got four chords to learn. It's a B minor, an A chord, a D, and a G. I'm gonna teach you how to play those chords at the beginning here, so if you already know how to play them, you can go ahead and skip ahead to where I'm actually teaching you how to play the song. So a B minor chord, we have our index barring the second fret with our index finger, fifth string down. Our middle finger is on the third fret of the B string. Ring fingers on the fourth fret of the D. Pinkies tucked right under on the fourth fret of the G. We're playing those five strings. An A chord, you're going to sandwich all your fingers on the second fret. Middle finger is going to be on the second fret of the D. Ring fingers on the second fret of the G. Pinkies on the second fret of the B. For a D chord, your index is going to be on the second fret of the A string. Middle finger is on the second fret of the high E. Ring fingers on the third fret of the B string. And we're just playing those four strings. And finally, for a G chord, your ring fingers at the third fret of the high E. Middle fingers at the third fret of the low E. Index fingers on the second fret of the A. And you play all six strings. So those are the four chords B minor, A, D, and G. So now you know the chords you need to play. Um, for this song, and I'm not going to teach it like I normally do where I go from the verse to the chorus to the bridge I'm just going to walk through how the song goes um, Because it's it's the same chords, but they switch the progression up fairly often So there's no way to split it up into verse chorus bridge, etc So we're gonna start out here with a B minor chord Go to an A To a G To a D Okay, and I'm picking the A and the B string the B minor, A in the B string for the A, E in the B string for the G, and then we're going to pick the D in the high E for the D chord. So this is the intro. Play that twice. Now we're going to go into the actual verse itself here, B minor again. A, a chord, D, G, back to a D, D, G, back to a D one more time, D, A, back to our B minor, B minor, A, D, G, D, G, D, and then A. So you can consider that the verse. So it goes B minor, A, D, G, D, G, D, A. Then it goes into the chorus, which is this part where it's going. Okay, so that's a little tricky. So we're gonna start on our B minor chord, and you're gonna pick this B a bunch. One, two, three, drop it. Drop that finger, the middle finger. Go to your G chord. to your D chord. So that's tricky I know, so nice and slow here. So B minor, you pick the B and the A, or the A and the B strings. Pick the B, pick the B, pick the B one more time, drop your middle finger. Pick it three more times. Go to your G chord, but just play the E and the B, and all you need is your ring finger. And go to your D chord. go right back to that B minor. So that sounds like this. Then it goes right back to the B minor again. One more time back to the B minor. And then we go um, back to our G and then to an A transition out of the chorus. And then after that, there's a like post-chorus section called, where he says, you cleared up my scars. And you go back to your B minor. And instead of going to a G, you go to a D now. And then back to a G. D. To G, D, and then to an A back into the verse. D, G, D, G, D, and then A. E minor, A, D, G, D, G, D, A. 
and that's the verse. And that plays for two more times, and then it goes back into the chorus where it goes. So. And then it does that a couple times, and that's pretty much it. So. I know it's a little confusing how everything strings together there, but it's basically the same chord progression that B minor, A, D, G, just switching it up slightly throughout. So if you can get this part for the chorus, that's mainly what's played throughout the entire song. It's the toughest part, but if you can get that, you can play the entire song. But otherwise, you can just play B minor, A, Alright, so that's going to be it for this tutorial. If you have questions, go ahead and comment below. If you'd like to see other tutorials, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.